Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Well, right now, Lake Michigan is lapping away its own shoreline little by little. Then powerful storms swoop in and cause damage like this. But can we actually beat Mother Nature? Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes you inside the city of Chicago's effort to combat erosion. What used to be there? Beach? Is this an example of an area that's doing okay? Why not change this area to look like that? We could have peppered waterfront engineer Mark Wagstaff. That's a good question. <laughs> about Lake Michigan's shoreline all day. Studying each bend, dip, and curve is his life's work. It's also his current assignment from the city of Chicago. Back in August, the uh, Park District hired Smith Group to start a strategic study of the whole Chicago lakefront. That's 26 miles of nooks and crannies painstakingly documented by drone. Waves are eating away some areas faster than others, and Wagstaff wants to know why. Researchers actually compared their summertime footage of Juneway Beach with drone shots that aired on the CBS 2 News of the same section after a November storm. We were able to see a very dramatic difference there. The Park District installed temporary solutions on the north side and to the south. There's possibility of, of using beaches in here. Some surprising longer term options. Yes, he said more beaches. Having that sand and, and gradual slope dissipates the wave energy, uh, so they're very effective. Wagstaff's made the suggestion before. It was really gratifying to see that recommendation actually take shape. He championed efforts to create 41st Street Beach starting in the late 1990s. The sand is from Wisconsin. These piers built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, who also installed breakwaters. It's holding up relatively well, Wagstaff says. So are areas with vegetation like Loyola Beach. But check out these concrete planters at Burnham Park. These two over here that were built over there got picked up and moved by the waves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even previously fixed sections are having trouble as water levels are rising. The lake is projected to be almost a foot higher this spring than in 2019. If you had a blank check, <laughs> how much do you think we need to spend on fixing this problem? Um. He eventually said billions of dollars. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. The Park District tells us 41st Street and Beach cost $18 million to build, and that includes federal funding. A spokesperson would not say if making more beaches is a true possibility. The Park District is waiting on final recommendations by Wagstaff. He'll put out a report in the spring.